Hey everyone, it's your soul, and yeah, a not entirely surprising development in the Jeffrey Epstein story situation. Stories coming out saying that he is dead in an apparent suicide, and this is being covered by numerous mainstream sources. Got the New New York Post there, ABC. Thanks for joining us. We are coming on the air with. Um, and yeah, so you know, this is the official narrative at the moment for what's going on. He is dead, and um, there's a story here of text basically saying that he was seen rolled out, or someone looking like him was seen rolled out on a gurney, and so on. So, you know, on the surface, people have predicted this from the moment he was arrested that he would either be killed or commit suicide. He did apparently, uh, you know, allegedly tried to kill himself not so long ago or was attacked and was put on suicide watch. So the fact that he allegedly has now killed himself obviously warrants serious investigation. You know, my first thought was, oh, you know, maybe the security cameras were those special CIA grade ones that they had around the 9-11 events at the Pentagon where uh, they just managed to not record anything, you know. Uh, Or like the many body cams on many police in America that magically just stop working when people get killed. Um, I guess that will come out to some extent, or not. Uh, So, there's a few other interesting things here. I mean, obviously, the fact of the matter is that we've got the 2,000-page document that's just literally been released a few hours before this allegedly happened. Uh, I haven't even had time to look through it all properly, but there's lots of uh, court documents here relating to his case, and she's Lane Maxwell, daughter of Robert Maxwell, uh, who you know has been alleged to be basically the boss of the whole kind of potential abuse ring and so on. Uh, there's actually screen capture here of... I'm probably not going to be able to find it easily because it's a big document, but... A uh, screen capture of a flight log with Donald Trump's name on it showing that he was on um, at least one flight with Epstein. Uh, there's a picture of a young girl that's kind of censored, basically uh, bending over, presumably naked, or who knows what's going on there. But uh, there's also a receipt for books from Amazon, which basically are, it was addressed to Jeffrey Epstein, which are books... I mean, I haven't actually looked into what the books fully are, but they're, you can tell from the name of them that basically they're, they're books about how to program and create sex slaves. So there's quite, you know, fairly substantial evidence in here, I'd say. Um, so this has just come out, and, you know, the next day he's found allegedly dead. Now, I say allegedly because, A, obviously, you know, it wouldn't be unheard of for people in that kind of situation to just be you know, have a a fake death go on, especially when he potentially has blackmail material on so many other people, or he is actually a CIA asset, as I covered previously, that's definitely possible. Um, You know, when you've got, for example, uh, such famous people coming to your island, such as we see Stephen Hawking here before he passed on, and, um, you know, many other people, when you've got these scientists, celebrities, CEOs, presidents coming to your island, then you can be sure that Lots and lots of people will be very interested in having you in their pocket and controlling you. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come on to this last point, which is something which just turned up literally a few minutes ago. This is a post that was allegedly on 4chan, which is now missing. It's not on there anymore. And it may have been deleted by the mod- moderators, or I'm not exactly sure. Um, but... Basically, it says here, not saying anything after this, please don't try to dox me, but last night after 4.0415 count, they took him medical in a wheelchair, front cuffed, but not one triage nurse says they spoke to him. Next thing we know, a trip van shows up. We do not do releases on the weekends unless a judge orders it. Next thing we know, he's put in a single man's cell and hangs himself. There's the, here's the thing, the trip van did not sign in and we did not record the plate number and a guy in a green dress military outfit was in the back of the van according to the tower guy who let him through the gate. You guys, I'm shaking right now but I think they switched him out. So this post appeared uh, before it was even announced that he had died and yeah. <laughs> uh, in the course of all of my investigation briefly into this 4chan post I came across the name uh Aaron Katersky, I think possibly whoever wrote that was connected to him in some way. I don't think it was actually him, but 
Anyway, this post is now gone, and there's someone posted on to 4chan claiming that, oh, I, it was it's not real, I faked it. Um, but it was a different ID, it wasn't this user ID. So basically the post went missing, and then someone else came along, probably, and claimed that this was all fake and it was a lie, and they were just messing around. Oh, I didn't even know he was dead, I just thought I'd have some fun. I think it's extremely unlikely that someone would just randomly post this up and guess that he was dead at the exact moment, a few minutes just before it was announced he was dead. I think the chances of that happening are, are very, very small. And I think it's far more likely that this is a genuine post from somebody working in the prison, which was then removed and someone came along to try and cover it up. So, you know, obviously I don't know the truth of all of that, but definitely something to think about. And, you know, I would say, given what I do know about these kinds of operations and people, this is the kind of thing I would expect them to do. So, yeah, keep your eyes out for evidence relating to this and definitely do not blindly believe a word you're told. That's the best advice I can give anyone when dealing with anything, but particularly when dealing with stories like this, when somebody's legend on suicide watch and they kill themselves in a prison, in the highest security prison, uh, and the person has potentially evidence on world leaders and who knows else, people that actually have sway in the prison system, uh, potentially for serious crimes that could get them even executed. So I would suggest that... Uh, people are going to do unexpected things in this case. So yeah, if you have any more info on this, obviously we're still digging through the documents that have been uh, released, and uh, I'm sure there's lots of things still to come out, but if you do have anything interesting to say, definitely let us know in the comments. Don't forget to vote, upvote this, reblog, re-steam, share and pass on, subscribe, and uh, until next time, peace.